Oxy Money. Uh, yes, you were right once again, apparently, because according to thatdarkplace.com, uh, an article that I was pulled uh, that was written today, October 3rd, 2024, written by John F. Trent, is titled Rumor, Ghost of Yote to be delayed until 2026 after abandoning Ghost of Tsushima sequel. And it goes on to say this. A rumor claims that Sony and Sucker Punch Productions recently announced Ghost of Yote uh, will be delayed to twenty at least 2026 after a com- after the company changed its vision from Ghost of Tsushima sequel to Ghost of Yote. Now this this is where we get into the the nitty gritty and the deets, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. It says Sony announced Ghost of, Ghost of Yote during its most recent PlayStation State of Play at the end of September and revealed the game would release in 2025. Sucker Punch Productions senior communications manager Andrew Goldfarb declared on PlayStation on the PlayStation blog, and I quote, "We are forever grateful." For the success of Ghost of Tsushima and can't wait for all of you to experience Ghost of Yote in 2025. But here's the deets. A little over a week since the announcement, a new rumor from YouTuber, uh, nah, it's Endy Mion, it's E-N-D-Y-M-I-O-N claims that the game will likely be delayed until 2026. And this is what he shared. I was told not to expect Ghost of Yote in 2025 at all apparently the game's nowhere near being done but it's it's a but it's a very slim chance that this game actually releases in 2025 it could very easily fall into 2026 but if you are getting your hopes up for it coming out next year probably don't do that and he goes on to say every source that i have spoken to they 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 full ex, they fully expect at some point a delay to be announced. Now again, I'm going to add this new story to the show notes. If you want to go watch his YouTube video, it's it's titled "Insider Exposes Assassin's Creed." Uh, well, he did a, a a video with uh, Assassin's Creed uh, expose, if you will. But listen again, take this with a giant grain of salt. He's a YouTuber just like me. Could he be right? Sure. Could he be wrong? 100%. But see, you might be vindicated here, sir, because according to many people in the chat, you were kind of given the business by several of the PlayStation community touting just a bias towards Xbox about this game possibly coming out. And I'm going to tell you something what I heard. I heard that the trailer that was made was in the same vein of when Hellblade 2 was shown in 2019. Remember, that was not the game. It was shown, it was put together to kind of just, hey, get it out there, we're doing Hellblade 2. I kind of heard the same thing about Ghost of Yote. So if, in fact, that's the case, it's highly unlikely that Sucker Punch is going to be able to get this out in 2025. Let's get your thoughts, man. Well... They're absolutely right. Uh, these ponies were having a, a field day trying to, to clip us and yeah. talk crap. And it's like, fam, listen, you could live in the in denial land all you want, but <laughs> it's clear, <laughs> it's clear that this was a trailer put out in desperation. Um, can you explain you can why see that you it, feel, the, yeah? I, I, please I can, please break it down why you think that is. I can. Um, I'll give you a few, few reasons. One, uh, just like Indiana Jones, where it looked like it stopped. And then all of a sudden they added something, uh, with the, the yes. date after the fact, right. That clearly looked like it was added on, right. That doesn't look like it was part of the main idea. You would have just done it right away. You didn't, you didn't need Jeff to come out and separate it. Right. Gotcha. So if you watch, if you watch their, their show, the state of play, the show ends, right. It's a clear end. And then this like next part just magically comes out of nowhere in place. Right. Um, so it just, it looks like it was added for sure. Like after the fact, um, the other thing is the entire show leaked the entire show. 
Yeah. Every single one of the, every single one, not some of them, not all. They had a couple, right? No, I think it was actually, I think our homie Abdel posted it all right before the show. Everything leaked, but not that one thing. Why? Well, because it wasn't part of the original plan, right? The original plan leaked. That other piece was not part of it. That got hidden. Um, but then it's just looking at the situation, right? It's just looking. I, I don't have to have an insider insight here to be able to kind of just put shit together. Um, the pro bombed, right? The pro announcement bombed. Yep. The pro, everything about the pro has bombed. And this is before the shit went live to go ahead and pre-order it, right? So just that nine minute trailer, that shit was so bad. Okay, that nobody was pumped for it. Everybody was joking about it. IGN, all the media, everybody. This was the first time that you United Fronts existed, and everybody was just like, "Why is this PlayStation <laughs> Five Pro a thing?" Right outside of your most diehard ponies, right? Everybody mocked it, right? So it was it was clearly a response, right? Clearly a response to the bad. Uh, the bad look that it got that they said, all right, let's put something out there that says, Hey, guess what guys, if you buy a pro today, next year, you're going to get a game. Where does that whole thing look so familiar? I don't know. Maybe when they showed a God of war mm -hmm. emblem, that said, hey, next year, you buy the PlayStation 5 now, next year, you're going to get a God of War. And it's so funny that we did not get a God of War the next year. <laughs> wow. It's almost like they were just going ahead and trying to, to go ahead and have you see it uh, and, and hope that it's going to happen so you buy it. Uh, the other thing, the trailer. Compare. When they showed off Ghost of Tsushima, the first one, it's funny that it was all gameplay, right? You know, they the, that trailer with, actually still holds up compared yeah, to what they fucking movie it does. That's why it's so embarrassing. That's a yeah. PlayStation 4 game. That's a PlayStation 4 game. Um, so they go ahead and they show gameplay and it's sweeping and everything. Like you just see, you can see the confidence that they have there, right? And what do we get for this one? A cutscene, right? A bunch of cutscenes. Everything, everything, all cutscenes. Very, very, very little gameplay. And the little gameplay they showed was horrible looking. Horrible. It looks so bad. That's another thing that they wanna they wanted to come out here and, and call us out on because we said it looked shitty from the beginning. It looked like a PlayStation 4 game. It was a PlayStation 4 game. And then magically. Right? Oh, sea money's full of shit, blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's funny because just not too long ago, Digital Foundry put out a video talking about their experience with the hands-on with their PlayStation 5 games. And they went ahead and all the ponies were out here quoting that. Oh, look at Digital Foundry, look at this, look at them. They're saying that it was it's actually pretty good. Look at that, it looks decent, blah 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 blah. Right? But I for whatever reason, maybe I missed it, but it seems like none of the ponies wanted to go ahead and show when they came out and said, Ghost of Yotai looks like the PlayStation 4 game. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that when I say it, it's a, a I'm being a, a, a X bot or whatever the fuck. But when they say it, they ignore it now, right? They don't want to say that they, they didn't say it, right? It's just an all an illusion, right? Um, no, I mean, this is just the, the reality of what it is. It's just what it is. It's clear that they, I mean, his story checks out, right? It makes sense when you look at the situation mm -hmm. um, because they didn't show anything of, of, of merit. They didn't show something that says, hey, we've been working on a next gen game for... How many years has this damn game been out? 
I think it's four. If I it will do it, yeah, it would be okay. four because uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which again, phenomenal game in its own right, launched in 2020. So this would be if if if, if it releases next year, it would be a five, five year. Dev, uh, but five uh, again, the only thing that they did say regarding it, which again, it's 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 a bit strange. See, money because they said specifically. Built for the PS5 from the ground up. That's that's literally the words that they use. Which is clearly a lie. We, but again, it's interesting that there was no PlayStation 5 Pro version mm-hmm. shown. And like I said, yep. if you if, if if go back and watch the trailer, folks, dude, we're not being pointed for console war rhetoric. Go watch the we part have where eyes, she's man. running where she's riding along the other other, other horses. It's it's not good. It is no. just not a good Even look. Even a little snippet of combat, they show it slow down, bro. They showed it slow down on Digital Foundry. Go watch Digital Foundry. They're, ponies, ponies love it when they're when they're on their side, right? <laughs> but listen, even Pony Digital Foundry can't lie. Okay, they they got eyes, especially the PC dude, right? He be he be you know in his bag when he's talking about some of this stuff, and he's looked at it. it it's just. It's a mockery, bro. It's a mockery. What a, like we're supposed to like believe that this game has been in production for five years for a next gen only, next gen only, and this is what it looks like. And then I, I love this is the fart that makes me so like it's it cracks me up. <laughs> I love seeing the dudes who come out and say, "Hey, uh, they could not have put together that trailer so fast. Mm-mm, it's impossible." Really? So what have they been doing for fucking five years? Yeah. They they didn't make a cutscene yet? That's all the fuck they showed. It's a cutscene with tiny, tiny, bad-looking snippets of gameplay. Again, what I heard was that it was put together. And again, trailers do take a couple of weeks to put together. Let's let's let, let, let's not make a mistake here. This wasn't pieced together using uh, you know, st- st- any your your average software on someone's PC the night before. That's not how this was put together. But you know what? I want to read Dan Lazaro's super chat because it does actually go exactly what you're saying. So Dan Lazaro drops a very generous five dollar super chat. He goes on to say, "There's something about a gut feeling and trusting it. Any intuitive person could clearly see and feel that the trailer was a panic move. PlayStation is in trouble." And you know, there's a couple nice. of people in the chat that are here that are PlayStation fans, and of course, we welcome everybody here. Uh, and again, it, it, one particular person because we don't do the names thing, you know, we don't want to embarrass anybody. Says y'all are in, law, in third place. Look, here's the thing: do places matter? I guess maybe to you, but at the end of the year, who's in first place with money? That would be Xbox because they made more money than PlayStation, which is and why you know they why that's ABC. important to us, guys. See, this is the thing that we've said it. But when Xbox being in first place, what that means is they have way more money to dump back in to Game Pass. Which is what, how we live. Correct. Ponies, yeah. you being in first place, second place, third place, fifth place, that shit don't help you in any way. You ain't getting no games, and you damn well ain't getting them in your service. So, honestly, the fact that they do what they do means nothing to you. Because you're not getting any benefits from it. Yeah. Sony I mean, has just... already bookmarked PlayStation as a waste of life. We've already seen it. They've invested every. As soon as they saw that Bungie was the biggest waste of their money ever, they said, we're not going to spend another dollar on PlayStation. They're just going to run the way they're running. They got their budget, and it is what it is. We're going to go invest in movie licenses, TVs. Uh, uh, the they, they, they bought show. a film house. They, they, they bought, bought the Alamo. A, they bought a movie theater. Yeah. They bought music licenses. They're spending billions and billions of dollars. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being a pony and seeing the team that you rep spend money everywhere else except on you? That's wild to me, right? That's wild. The squad you rep. Oh my God, I love PlayStation. Oh, I love them so much. Oh my God, they're my favorite. Jesus, wow. They're so good, right? Ah, I love the fact that they're, oh, wait, they're not spending anything on us. (laughs) They're not spending anything on us. You look at that. I don't care. What you think about Ghost of Yotai. But if you're telling me that that game, that you saw footage there that looked like it was a PlayStation 5 
exclusive game that took advantage of the PlayStation 5 powerful hardware that they claim to have that digital foundry has spent the last week basically destroying the original playstation in favor of how the the playstation 5 pro is finally going to be able to do some of these things that the playstation wish it could this doesn't look like it bro it doesn't look like it go go use your eyes show me something go hit me up on twitter go twitter give me a side-by-side comparison of ghost of tsushima uh, Ghost of Tsushima and Ghost of Yotai and tell me that you see next gen exclusive in those comparisons. I'm sorry. You don't. Digital Foundry didn't. Let me help you out. <laughs> That's the news. Right? They didn't find that. Right? They know immediately that it looks the same. So it just is what it is, man. Look, look. I cannot wait for the game. It is going to I loved Ghost of Tsushima so much I platinumed it. I, I don't have a lot of platinums. I have six. Right, so the games that I really, really enjoy, I will platinum that game. This was one of them. I'm looking forward to the sequel. I'm just again, we don't know much about it. It, it we know what's actually happening, which is great. People have been waiting for quote unquote a ghost of of Tsushima something. For me personally, I'm not let down that it's a female lead. I I, I could give a shit. That doesn't matter to me. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be it's 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 a different story. It's 300 years into the future. I personally, though, would have loved to continue Jin's story. I hear a lot I believe, of people say that. Yeah, I think I, I believe at some point that is going to happen. Um, I don't know what happened for the change of Ghost of Joshima 2 versus this. You know, again, we don't know. There's no 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 real specifics about why they change direction and they, they go because again, I kind of feel, and this is just a feeling, it's not a, a stake in the ground opinion. It's kind. I kind of feel that this is a Miles Morales situation, where Miles is a fantastic freaking game from start to finish, but it's a smaller experience as as opposed to Spider Man twenty eighteen. I kind of feel that this is what that's what's happening here. Uh, you will eventually get a Ghost of Tsushima two, the same way you got a Spider Man two, and that will be the big epic one that most people have been waiting for. This to me seems like it's going to be a smaller experience now does that make it any does it make it worse does it make it terrible i don't think so but we'll have to see when it comes out and i actually think there is a lot to go on here regarding potentially it being delayed uh again we're still in 2024 we still got three months left of the year obviously you know they 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 could they could release it at in holiday of 2025 that's always possible and that gives them almost a year worth of dev time but i think that if the game would have been closer to being done you would have seen a ghost of hoshima trailer and again just go watch them for yourselves don't take it on my word if you are a playstation guy or gal Go watch, and I think C-Money is, is literally going to hit this out of the park. Go watch both trailers. Go look at the Ghost of Tsushima trailer where it was actual gameplay versus Ghost of Yotai. And you're going to see there are significant differences in the quality, and one of which is a PlayStation 4 game. So, again, you take it and run with it if you want, but that's that's our thoughts. That's our theories on it. Uh, and, and again, you know, honestly, your your idea that this is going to be a shorter type experience lines up with PlayStation's new MO. Yes. Right? Like, let's, let's be clear. They can't afford to do what they've done. Right. They can't afford it. That's what being broke does for you. Right. <laughs> it just is what it is. Right. So they can't afford it. Um, so what they said, what they made very clear from the CEO down to Herman Holst, that the games, the way, the way they're making these games is going to have to change. They said that not me it was them they said that the money is not there the guy said it from the rip they know how to make games they know how they don't know how to make money right playstation is in shambles because of it right we see them in desperation mode non-stop right it's wild honestly um and the fact is there's this is what you can expect I, I fully believe it. This is Me what too. you can expect going forward. They're going to be doing these. These are all PlayStation 4 base games, right? They're not going forward. They're not moving the needle forward. Um, they're they're just going to take the base and add to it, 
right? And they're going to do them in at smaller scales so that they can get them out. I mean, Homeboy said he wants to get these games out faster, right? How do you get them out faster? Cut the content, right? Cut the size, cut the cut the quality, right? That's how you do it. Yeah.